Hi, my name's Allison, and I'm from TechBoomers.com. Today, you'll learn about Gmail settings. There are many ways that you can fine-tune Gmail so it works just the way that you want. In this tutorial, we'll go over the categories of advanced settings and tell you some of the things that you can do with each of them. Here's what you'll learn in this tutorial. Where you can change your password, where to find numerous Gmail settings, and how to choose a Gmail theme. Go to gmail.com and log in. Before we get started, you'll notice that my Gmail may look a little different from yours. That's because I'm using a different Gmail theme. When you get to your main inbox screen, click the wheel button in the top right corner and select settings from the drop down menu. There are many tabs across the top of the page, and it can seem overwhelming if you're not sure what you're looking for. Keep in mind that the link of the page you are on will be a different color than the other links across the top. Notice that the general link is black, whereas the other links are blue. This is because we are on the general settings page. This is just a quick overview of settings. Some of these will be covered in later tutorials. The first tab you are on is General. There are many different kinds of settings that you can change here. They include what language Gmail displays in, how many conversations or contacts can be on the on-screen list at the left at once, whether or not you have a signature added to the end of every email you send, and whether or not your Gmail account will automatically reply to any emails that you receive, such as a vacation message. Labels is the next tab. This allows you to create, delete, and change labels that help you organize your emails more thoroughly. You can learn more about labels in our Gmail labels tutorial. If you click Inbox, this page allows you to choose things like how your inbox is organized, by date, by importance, or by starred, etc. You can also choose here what categories of conversations that your inbox displays and whether or not Gmail will automatically label conversations as important based on what you do with similar conversations. Accounts and Import is an important page because it allows you to change your password or password recovery information. Here you can also import contacts from other email services into Gmail and even link your Gmail account with other email accounts. This is useful for password recovery and for importing contacts. This tab allows you to create, change, and delete filters in Gmail. Filters are basically ways of telling Gmail to look for certain emails you receive and then do something with them, like mark them as important, delete them, or put a certain label on them. Check out our Gmail filters tutorial for more information. Forwarding POP in IMAP is a more advanced setting. It allows you to set up email addresses to which you can automatically pass along any emails that you get. Think of it like forwarding a letter to a different address. For example, you can set it up so that your work emails are forwarded to your personal email so you only have to check one email account instead of two. Clicking chat allows you to set up Gmail's chat or hangout function. This allows you to send instant messages back and forth with your contacts who are online and decide which of your contacts are allowed to do this with you. You can also set up Gmail to make phone and video calls to your contacts, but these services may cost money, so we recommend not fiddling around with them too much. There are other services out there that allow you to do these things for free. In Labs, you can enable or disable custom features. These have been created by Gmail users to make Gmail more functional and easier to use for everyone. If you've done some of our other Gmail tutorials, like how to unsend emails in Gmail, you've already seen some of these features in action. Note that any features you enable may change or disappear over time. Offline allows you to install and use an application that enables you to access your Gmail account, even if your internet connection isn't working. You can only install and use it on Google's web browser, 
called Chrome. This is a very advanced feature and one we do not cover on TechBoomers.com. If you're interested in learning more about this, let us know on our Facebook page. By clicking Themes, you can easily change the way your Gmail account looks. Click on a theme to change your Gmail interface's background to something that expresses yourself, whether that's a certain color, naturescape, custom graphic, or just a cool photo that you like. Your settings will be automatically saved. Now that you know more about Gmail settings, why don't you try selecting a new theme or exploring some of the other settings that we mentioned. Want to learn more? Click the blue button to check out more Gmail tutorials. Click the green button to find other website courses. And as always, click the orange button to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest video tutorials.